April 2022. The death of my sister left me and my family heartbroken. Her death has really scarred so many. And of course, the pain that her family members are going through is not even something. Like, they are so hot. They even had the thought of um, returning her bride price to the supposed husband. I mean, her killer. Someone that married her and still killed her. And yes, guys, before I forget, Osinachi's um, Wachuko's family... The family of late gospel musician Osina Chinwachuko has fixed a date for their for her burial. The family announced that the late Ekweme Krona will be buried on June 25th, this 2022. So guys, Osinachi's family has fixed June to bury their daughter. And then according to the family, they are contemplating to return the singer's bride prize. The news of Osinachi's death broke on 8 April 2022. Osinachi was said to have died as a result of domestic violence she suffered from her husband Peter Wachpo. This one is no longer a is no longer a new thing because it's everywhere on social media. Guys, meanwhile, the federal government has slammed homicide charges against Peter. And of course, the Attorney General of the Federation has dragged Peter before a federal capital territory, FCT Abuja High Court. And then the High Court of the Federal Capital um, Territory in Woods has remanded Peter Nwachuko, husband of late gospel singer Osinachi, in Kuje prison. Then Justice Ngozi Nwosu Iheme ordered that Nwachuko remains in custody until the conclusion of his trial. She gave this order despite Nwachuko um, pleading not guilty to the 23 count charges against him. Imagine such man. You know how I stated in our last video that he is not even just a killer. Somebody that is also lying. The federal government has leveled the charges bordering on domestic violence and homicide. Among others, following the death of his wife, she granted an accelerated hearing and adjourned till June 16 at 12 noon for the commencement of his trial. I was even thinking, though, see, if this thing, if it's in my power, God knows that this man, Peter Wachuku, he will not be um, sentenced to death immediately. He will suffer. I want the kind of punishment, if, I'm, if, if it was me, like I would be in charge of his case. He will be tortured, eh? That he will even use his mouth to be begging for death. Like, he'll be like, please, you you push or kill me. I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of being tortured. He'll be like his own hell on earth. Because what he, the kind of pain he inflicted on Osina Chinwachuko's family, eh? Just only that pain alone. That only that pain. No, if it's on parents, as they hear of the daughter's demise, they will just, I don't know, they are BP or something. See that man, I don't even understand that man at all. Not just not just a killer. He's also a liar. And yes, Osina Chi will be buried in her father's compound. That's at Isuochi Omuneoche, local government area of Abia State. That's according to a family source. The 42-year-old was said to be a victim of domestic violence, just like I always did. A sad development that led to her early grief. Osinachi, who shot in the lame lights with the hit Ekweme, has been viewed 72 million times on YouTube, died in an Abuja hospital. And yes, some of her family members also told this BBC Ibo that they plan to return her bride price, just like I said, which, which her husband, Mr. Nwachuku, paid as part of her marriage rights. Please, they should return that, um, they should return the bride price, I beg. Her death has drawn global condemnation against domestic violence against women. You see this thing there, despite this Osinachi's death, there are still men hidden somewhere, still beating their wives. And I pray that after dealing with Peter Nwachuku, I just pray that after watching maybe kind of punishment they will give to him or something, people fear will grip some men that are still hurting their wives, that are still abusing their wife. Because now, um... There is a good news. The good news is that y'all yeah, remember my last video that I made. I was stating that um, the Osinachi's 
Osinachi's twin sister surfaced, pleading on behalf of Osinachi's children that she was actually asking for assistance because Osinachi was actually the breadwinner to her family when she was alive, not even the husband. So these children are going through a lot. They need help financially and otherwise. So Osinachi has a twin sister which which surfaced and then she made a video of herself asking Nigerians to come to their aid so they will help Osinachi's children. Now Governor Nguai commended for donating two million naira to Osinachi's children. You see the donation of two million naira by Governor Ifai Nguai that's for the upkeep of the children of the late gospel singer Osinachi. And he really tried though. Osinachi Wachuk will bring to succor to the beneficiaries and acquaintance of the family told the whistler on Sunday. You see, Mrs. Joyce Osai, a resident of Ob Abakpo said the news is cheering. It shows that the kids have to move on with their life. Obviously, the, the assistance is timely. Amechi Okafo, a social worker, said, We expect well-meaning groups and individuals to come in as well. It's the spirit of humanity to show love. This is a time for empathy and not sympathy. Crying over the manner she was allegedly killed will not return her life back. That's the bitter truth. Even if we cry and cry and cry, she's gone. And like I always tell you all in most of our videos here on G Central that this life, eh, it doesn't have, we don't have spare lives. This life is just one. And of course, once you're dead, you're dead. There is no amount of tears that will bring you back. That's why use your senses while you're still alive don't indulge don't be a victim of anything that will take away your life imagine don't go and do i love him too much i love her too much i just cannot and you then you end your life because of you know what is raining these days now is it's not even accident it's not even normal sickness it's now domestic violence it's now toxic relationship. Like I always tell people that these things are red flag. Even when you're dating the person you want to marry, you should see all these things because a man who will hurt his wife in the marriage will definitely show the sign. Even if he did not show everything in the relationship, but he, will, in some way, some way, he will show the sign in relationship, and this will tell you, ah, no, this is not the kind of person I want to end up with. So, guys, you pull understand what I'm trying to say. And yes, guys, while the suspected husband is ongoing for trials, let's hope, let's not hope to fade on the kids. Our correspondent reports that the kids, that is Osinachi's children, have relocated to Enugu, where their grandmother is living. The donation was presented to them by the State Commissioner for Gender Affairs and Social Development, Princess Peace Naji. She said, though you people are not um natives of Enugu state but our governor has decided to support the welfare of these children and because their father is still in detention security agents brought them to Enugu to stay with their grandmother who resides in the state and the governor has told us to give you two million naira to to give two million naira to the grandmother yeah to support the family and we are handing over this money to their grandmother who has been taking care of them. Try. Um, well, this Osinachi's news, eh? This Osinachi's news. The grandmother, Mrs. Caroline Madu, commended the state govern government for the charity. The late singer's twin, Amarachi, promised judicious use of the money. According to her, we are happy. I just want to say thank you. God bless you all. One of the kids, Miss Deborah Onwachuku, said, Thank you for helping in our education. May God bless you for everything you have done. I will study hard to be a pilot. This thing is really, really breaking my heart. So, um, the children of the late singer are Ebube, Ekene, Chinedu, and Deborah. Meanwhile, Osinachi will be buried on June 25th. So I'm just repeating it so that in case... And it will be in her father's compound at Omoako, Isuochi, Omonochi, local government area of Abia State. So, guys, that is it about Osinachi. And recently, the social media was awash with the news of the remains of gospel singer 
singing equipment while in the mortuary ah this one is becoming airy the lead singer became famous after she featured in prosper hit song that is equipment that was in 2019 now so guys there is somebody that said or should i say let me just put it that way that osinachi the lead singer always sings her equipment track every night that is she quotes mortuary attendance for mo making this claim like news and reports hitting us is that osinachi actually sings from the mortuary and i keep asking myself can the dead speak it has not been proven that someone confirmed dead by a medic can can, can speak or sing physically except through dream or trance however in african tradition dead people are believed to be around their corpse until they are buried According to a popular superstition, if anybody is poisoned to death and he's given a knife, torchlight, or pepper, he is capable of fighting for himself and exposing his killers within seven days. There have been cases of people confessing that dead people were chasing them, but this cannot be proven. So historical um, research suggests that emotional decides to play a role in conjuring this phenomenon you see in the past research when an individual desperate for a manifestation of the supernatural they would often record a spiritual experience shortly after significantly nearly 75 percent of those who surfaced said they don't know about spiritualism or its set of belief prior to the earliest experiences this suggests that for many the sensation of speaking with spirits knowledge of all these phenomena some scholars argue that mediums later attack their voice hearing the spiritualism as a way of explaining their um, hallucination guys i still don't believe that the dead can sing although this her case is somehow because she was killed by the love of her life so the national hospital in abuja has dismissed the report that osinachi's corpse sings at night dr tayo the spokesman of the National Hospital said there was no proof that Osinachi's body was singing in the mortuary. So this they have debunked the news. No, some people were saying that Osinachi actually sing from the mortuary and she sing her track Equimi, which people have um debunked, claiming to be false. So, guys, the good news is that I'm happy that. People are now assisting Osinachi's children with any amount they have. And it's a really good thing the governor was able to give them 2 million naira for their upkeep. So guys, that is the latest, latest about Osinachi and her barrier has been fixed. Just like I stated at the beginning of this video. So thank you so much for watching to the very end. I remain your favorite girl, Ella OKC. And guys... If you have not subscribed, please do well too. And of course, hit that notification bell so you will be updated on our next video. And then, here is a video of Osinachi's twin actually pleading for assistance for Osinachi's children. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more videos. My mother and I need help desperately to take care of the four children of my twin sister. That was killed by her husband. Jesus Nachumachu, who was known to be an anointed minister of the gospel, through her songs like Igweme, the cry, and the God of all power, many souls were blessed. She was a respecter of every man, one who believes in being kind, as she has helped some people who crossed her path. She sadly suffered domestic violence at the hand of her husband for years. The last living her hospitalized from internal injuries sustained from being kicked on the chest multiple times. The hospital confirmed they observed heavy internal bleeding around her chest area, yet didn't know the cause before she died on the 8th of April, 2022. The date of my sister left me and my family heartbroken. She also left behind four kids, the oldest were being in his early teens, 
And since she was the breadwinner of her family, her kids would definitely need help. The court served them quick notice, stating that their rent expired on 13th April 2022. So far, Her Excellency, Honorable Minister for Women Affairs, in her motherly love, has rendered help to us. She visited the children, followed up the case to see the justice prevails. Help the children to check, to change their environment. She has written to the excellencies, the governor of Enugu State and the wife, the governor of Abia State and the wife. She also wrote to the commissioners of women affairs of both states. We are yet to get the response from them. My mother and I need help desperately to take care of the four children of my twin sister that was killed by her husband after she and the children had suffered years of abuse and domestic violence at his hands. No woman, no woman should ever have to live or die the way my twin sister did. No child should ever have to suffer the way her four children have suffered. And as they suffering now, please, please help us. I am Amarachi.